It is a pleasure to address you on the occasion of the launch of the UNESCO Science Report 2010. The simultaneous launch of this report across the world is a message for global unity and partnerships in science. It is especially important that we launch the report on the World Science Day for Peace and Development, whose theme this year is Science for the Rapprochement of Peoples and Cultures. This fits perfectly with UNESCO's activities to lead the 2010 International Year for the Rapprochement of Cultures. Science flourishes through dialogue, through the interaction of peoples and cultures, and through the meeting of minds. It prospers in a soil that is rich in diversity and in a climate that favors diffusion and exchange. We have to work for this to happen. Science cooperation, indeed science diplomacy, must lie at the heart of our common humanist project to build a better, a more just and a more equitable world. UNESCO Science Report paints the picture of a world in rapid change. The landscape of science is transforming. New hubs are emerging along with new actors, but disparities remain, especially in patent creation and the economic crisis is starting to hit hard. The report shows us the way forward. We have to invest more in science. We have to mobilize social energies and political will to strengthen cooperation. We must promote the contribution of all countries to our common knowledge base. We must foster a place for the next generation of scientists, especially women. I believe this is UNESCO at its strongest. Coming out every five years, the science report is a unique benchmarking publication. It plays an essential role in disseminating knowledge and in raising awareness about strategic science policy issues. The 2010 edition examines global trends. It reviews the changing geopolitics of science and it highlights the persistent disparities that exist between and within countries. The report is clear. We have no choice. We must tirelessly underline the importance of scientific cooperation to overcome the knowledge gap. We must work harder to empower developing countries. All must contribute to the policy debate and all should benefit from scientific advances. The science report is designed to stimulate thinking in these directions. More investment and stronger institutional frameworks are vital for building better and more inclusive scientific development. But we should never forget that all of this is about people. The dignity of every individual must remain our starting point and a more united humanity our compass. I thank all those who have contributed to the science report. I encourage all to take inspiration from its findings, to debate them and to move forward together. I wish you a successful celebration of the World Science Day for Peace and Development.